This is your High Desert Sports Report. The Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program. Covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. First game out of the All-Star break. The Yardbirds rip Tucson 9-2. Hottest hitter Danny Kerr igniting High Desert's four-run first with the opposite field to RBI double. And the Yardbirds lockdown defense repeatedly rises to the occasion to cut down Seguro's rally efforts as High Desert maintains its five-game lead in the Pecos League Pacific Division standing. Tommy Anderson follows Danny Kerr's two-run double with his opposite field drive to the deepest part of right center field. Danny Kerr and Oscar Larinaga scoring Yardbirds runs three and four as twice in the first inning, High Desert hitters deliver on what skipper Sean McNeil believes are the biggest, most important base hits in baseball. I would say there actually had two come to mind. Two out hits, obviously, but the 0-2 hit, or 0-2 um, count where you get a hit. Tommy Anderson's well, triple comes on a two-strike count with really two outs. The Yardbirds, Anthony Ward has two strikes with two outs when he drives in Oscar Larinaga in the third. Anthony Ward, the 22-year-old epitome of defensive versatility, is from Fresno. He turns 23 two days later. All-star John Kopicki benefits from the early offensive support and steady defensive play behind him, winning his third. The 23-year-old from Ohio strikes out four in his seven innings of work. High Desert hitters rough up Segura pitchers for runs in each of the first four innings. Derek Reddy driving in Anthony Ward to make it 5 nothing in the second. Before the Yardbirds knock starter Joe Lewis out of the box in the third, High Desert cuts down Evan Douglas at the plate on the excellent throw from all-star left fielder Daniel Gardner. All-star catcher Danny Kerr applying the tag in a very close play, umpire Keith Sabo with the call of the plate. Danny Kerr rounds off his three RBI night with his second hit of the game, capping Yardbird scoring at nine runs. This is in the sixth. Scoring is Daniel Gardner, who collects three of High Desert's ten hits this night. This July 14th Sunday game was very unusual on more than one aspect. Last minute scheduling changes mandated by Pecos League management had converted seven of the Yardbirds remaining home games into away games. And unrelated, an overwatered field prompted a two hour start time delay. Hey, it's like Bull Durham, you know, <laughs> yeah. where they needed an off day and they put the sprinkler system on. Maybe Tucson did that. Visiting <laughs> Tucson's beat the Yardbirds this day. Tucson player coach Robbie Medell comments on the importance of every game that remains after correcting this video Robbie journalist's Medell. pronunciation of Tucson's team name. Tucson Saguro's team. Saguaros. Tucson Saguaros. Saguaros. <laughs> and uh, I am a pitcher slash pitching coach. So. How important are these games now down the stretch? And um, we've even got a game today that's extremely important, and you had um, two last weekend. Yeah, so we're um, we're two games up on the last playoff spot with Bakersfield. So we have two games on them. We lost them last night in a tough one. And uh, so every game every game is really important, no matter if we're playing High Desert, who's in first, or Cal City, who's in last. Uh, all very important games that we need to come out with wins in. In light of High Desert losing home field advantage in seven of the ten remaining Yardbirds games? They probably do have a bit of a home field advantage, the mound and the uh, all-grass infield. Um, you know, they're exposed to it more than other teams are, so we're not familiar with the hops or some of the reads that their guys might have. So The Yardbirds, Skipper's rationale in turning the negative schedule changes into a positive? Oh, man. Um, I mean, I'm actually used to doing this because I was the um, traveling manager for the past two years. I know a couple of my guys that played for me last year are used to this as well. So I would say... I would say, you know, A, I guess take it as it comes, but on the bright side too, if you look at our record, I think we're better on the road than we are home. 
The Yardbirds are trying their best to find positives in the Pecos League decision to deny High Desert any more home games. Other teams complain the Adelanto Stadium all-grass infield and portable mound give the Yardbirds an unfair advantage. They probably do have a bit of a home field advantage, the mound and the uh, all-grass infield. Um, you know, they're exposed to it more than other teams are, so we're not familiar with the hops or some of the reads that their guys might have. So Some Yardbirds may not mind not having to perform at Adelanto Stadium, especially if you are a six-foot-eight closer. Alright, I mean, yeah, the mounds, it's, uh, we're making the best of the situation we have and putting that mound together. Adversity can produce unlikely heroes. Middle reliever Joy Macaloosa comes on and throws six plus innings of his best pitching of the season in an eventual extra inning loss at Bakersfield. Video Sports goes back to an interview with the high-energy 23-year-old from Florida, Joy Macaloosa's advice to younger ball players. I, I've had a lot of help. I've got Nelson Vargas and Julius Matos, big guys who've played roles in my baseball career, and my dad. And I think the biggest thing that I would say to the young guys is just because it's not what you want right now at the, at the moment, um, Take your opportunities and, and let them prosper, you know. God has a plan and he his plan is greater than ours. So just let it let it roll and let it take the opportunity as you as it's presented to you. What ingredients are helping these yard birds rise above adversity in pursuit of the Pecos League crown? Well, you know, it's it's not just one person. You know, it's everybody on this on, on this team, and um, you know, through the pitchers, um, you know, all all them guys are doing them jobs in, in the bullpen, and um, you know, our starters are really you know getting deep into deep into games and really helping us you know win, win games. Um, you know, uh, our whole lineup, every just everyone on the team. You know, it's it's just really a team effort, and it's uh, it's fun to watch, fun to be a part of. Awesome. Uh, so my name's Nathan Doran. Uh, I'm from Berwick, Massachusetts. And uh, yeah, I'm a right-handed pitcher for the Yardbirds. These Yardboids sound bites and action highlights are presented by Bid Fast and Last World Class Auctioneers. Sell, 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 sell. Bid Fast and Last sold on supporting high desert sports. Bid Fast and Last liquidation of government entities, vehicles, firearms, estates, antiques, fine jewelry, coins, and more. Bid online at bidfastandlast.com. Ready to kick tires, start fires, kick ass, take names, and rock and roll. Sell, 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 sell. The Yardbirds enter the final two weeks of regular season play, holding on to a three-game lead in the Pacific Division. Jacob Rosales became the Pecos League's first eight-game winner, that victory, at Monterey. Kyle Hodson wins his seventh the following day in Monterey, rising above the wear and tear of the dog days of July, and finally taking the mound against an opponent other than California City. I think there definitely is a little bit of wear and tear, but uh, you know I'm trying to stay the same and just try to attack the same teams that I've been facing. I've had uh, Cal City now three times in a row, so it's kind of hard to mix it up with them. But hopefully, I, uh, facing other teams, you know, I can still be effective and get out there and get wins and stuff. It is one thing to be able to remain consistent throughout the dog days. It is even better to improve. And some of the yard birds have raised their batting average and productivity down the stretch. 22-year-old shortstop Hector Morales says the secret is keeping it simple. Um, I try to keep it simple, just one base hit a game. I think that will do pretty good for me and my numbers, I guess. But yeah, and then my off, I, when we're not in season or when I'm not in season, my training I think is pretty good and that helps me stay, you know, ready and not fade or get tired as much. Of particular importance in Hector Morales' offensive productivity is that it comes from the middle to lower half in manager Sean McNeil's batting order, providing balance run production up and down the lineup. Down Home Grill serves up these hot off the grill Yardbirds highlights. Down Home Grill serves up the best senior breakfast. It's only six bucks. Organic eggs, 
fresh potatoes, French roast coffee. Down Home Grill serves the area's healthiest and most nutritious burgers from organic grass-fed beef. Down Home Grill is open every day, 6 in the morning until 10 at night, located at the corner of Delicious and Nutritious, Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive in Victorville. A leading ingredient in the high desert yardbirds, best in the Pecos League team defense, is found crouched behind the plate, the catchers, adorned in the tools of ignorance, reference to a catcher's protective gear, an expression first believed uttered by 11-time Major League Hall of Fame catcher Bill Dickey over 80 years ago. Today's generation of catchers, though, and their manager had never heard the expression tools of ignorance. Some of the younger ball players, they have never heard of that before. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I've, I've never heard that. You know what? I think that's a good thing. Tell me about the importance of your catching core uh, defensive skills. I think it's it's vital because, you know, you got, you, got, you got guys in scoring position, you know, especially third base. If they couldn't block a ball, the pitchers won't throw a, a pitch that would, um, you know, that a guy might chase because they're afraid it's going to get by them and might give them a good pitch to hit. So by having good, um, I would say, defensive catchers, it, help, it, it helps tremendously. It helps us, you know, obviously defensively, helps with the pitching staff. And I mean, like, they kind of run the show defensively because like they see everything from the field. The Yardbirds' outstanding core of catchers is led by all-star Danny Kerr, the Pecos League's top-hitting catcher. The 23-year-old from Michigan wears a Wolverines mask and helmet and explains those Wolverines are the mascot of the NAIA, Michigan University, Dearborn. Yeah, yep, so Michigan, Dearborn, we are the uh, Wolverines. Yeah, so we, we are actually in the NAIA division, so we have like our own campus and uh, it's still a part of Michigan, but we are a, we have our separate athletic program there. Danny Kerr is hitting 468. He is the prototype line drive hitter. Uh, yes, sir. I'm a uh, I'm a line drive hitter. You know, I'm not going to go out there and hit a ton of home runs, but I hit line drives, gap to gap. I'll hit doubles. Uh, mostly just an RBI guy. The top Yardbirds catcher defensively is the youngest Yardbird, Aiden Brook, the 21-year-old from North Dakota. He turns 22 in August. Aiden, he, ha he has something um, where he communicates well with, with, the, um, with the pitchers and everything. I think he knows what they like to throw constantly. To be honest, so catching, I don't know. So catching to me was always something that the hard worker had to do that the the guy had to kind of always be on trying like always had to be trying his best 24 7. Um, so I think that that's kind of I mean in my mind that's what a catcher is catcher is someone that continues to try and continues to work no matter what whether there's bases loaded whether there's no one on base whether there is down by 20 runs, up by 20 runs, or tie game. Isn't your leadership skill equally important though? Because how you handle the pitchers and let them know, throw what you want with a runner on third. My job is to stop them. And I think that is huge with uh, all of our catchers. I think that's you as a catcher in general. Our team, I think, has figured that out a lot more now. I think our cat, our pitchers have been a lot more free willing to uh, bounce a ball here and there, especially with third guy on third, right? That confidence there, I think, is is evident with a lot of our starters and our closers now. They uh, they see what Danny, Eddie, and I, they see what we can do. They see what uh, we can handle, what we can't handle. If you throw it in an area where we can handle it, that's the only word I'm gonna use, handle, because it won't be the cleanest all the time, right? Like it's not always gonna be the picture perfect, but there is an area on the plate, around the plate, that we can all handle. We can make work, and if you throw it in there, we got your back. And I think that's what the pitchers are starting to figure out is that we've got their back. Eddie is 25-year-old Yardbirds catcher Eddie like Million. Catching well, when I when I was a kid, I thought it was cool just to put on the gear. <laughs> but then, uh, as I grew up, I just I enjoyed being so involved in, in the game. It's uh, I'm involved every play. I'm involved in everything that goes on. There's crucial things that that happen, whether it's pitch counts, whether it's uh, making the right uh, call for. Uh, where the ball goes yeah. and it's just uh, I, I like to be a part of that.
like Ed, I think, has a cannon for an arm. And could, yeah. Like, I remember in spring training, Derek went to go steal a bag, and the ball bounced. Ed had no business getting the ball there, and he got it there and made it a close play. I consider myself uh, well-rounded, but definitely Personal. definitely more uh, a defensive catcher. Uh, I took real uh, pride, especially once I got into college. They, they took uh, really seriously what we do in and out during uh, uh, practices, and that was honestly more important than the hitting aspect. So, and as you get into the pro uh, pro side, they, they take that more seriously as well. Exactly. So what's your priority when you make out the lineup tonight or in the games, the 25 that remain? Guy behind the plate, is it based on defensive skills, savvy ability to handle the pitchers? Or, you know, against this team and that pitcher, the hitting comes first? I would, it, 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 it comes, you know, it, my decision is, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, you know. So, if, like tonight, Danny's gonna he's gonna catch because you know this team can hit, and I feel like we need to hit as well. You know, if it's a game where defense is gonna, where I think defense is gonna wear, win us the game, you know, I could go with I can go with Ed or Aiden, you know. Um, and honestly, I kind of let the pitchers have their preference of who who's um, who's gonna catch them. So. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, I'm, I allow them to kind of choose. Like, for example, Colton likes throwing to Aiden, you know. I know Jacob like to throw to, likes to throw to Aiden. Um, I think Harry likes throwing to Kerr, you know. Um, I would say Kyle. I, I know he's throwing to Kerr, but he's also throwing to Ed, so I'm not too sure where he's at with that, okay. <laughs> you know. Um, and then... You know, and it, I would say it helps as well just because, you know, what if one of them goes down? Down Home Grill serves up these hot off the grill Yardbirds highlights. Down Home Grill serves the area's healthiest and most nutritious burgers from organic grass fed beef, Mediterranean Mondays organic chicken and charbroiled steak skewers, and chicken and lamb and beef gyros. Every Tuesday at 5 o'clock, fried chicken special. Every Friday, wild caught cod, halibut, and grilled salmon. Down Home Grill is open every day, 6 in the morning until 10 at night, located at the corner of Delicious and nutritious Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive in Victorville. High school football teams compete in passing league tournaments during summer's off-season. The format is loosely similar to the collegiate and NFL overtime tie-breaking system, but these passing league scrimmages are very informal. No officials, no clock, no scores kept. Four teams are on the field at the same time. Each team's offense starts at the 40 and has three plays to pick up a first down. A play ends as soon as the receiver catches the pass. The quarterback has five seconds to release the ball or it is a coverage incompletion. Each team's offense has a 10 play possession. Apple Valley's Marcos Cato, the possession ending touchdown reception here for the host team Apple Valley. Then the teams switch out offense to defense. The Granite Hills Cougars are coming off a breakthrough 2018 season. Coach Alex Gonzalez entering his fifth year at the helm of the Cougars. Granite Hills has a pair of underclassmen taking snaps. 6'3 sophomore Tyler Karen and junior Feliciano Hernandez. The Riverside Prep Silver Knights in their Fear the Shield t-shirts. Coach Matt Rohrbaugh's Sun Devils have 6'4 sophomore quarterback Jaden Donegal calling signals. Uh, the passing league program, it, it helps out with uh, my release because I play quarterback and helps me with the timing with the receivers to get better as a receiver, I mean as a quarterback. Sun Devils tight end Ryan Webster is a returning all Mojave River League first team selection. I'm a tight end and defensive end at Apple Valley. Are you a senior? Yes. Yeah, in all league last year. Congratulations. Thank Who are you, you involved with this summer? Um, this summer we're doing seven on seven tournaments and we're starting off with our new weight room, hardworking. The Sun Devils have a second, first team all MRL receiver. Returning, six foot, 175 pound Tyron Smith. He's a junior this year. 
this completion to Kenyard Edwards out of the backfield. Burroughs in their throwback helmets, one of six teams in this day's tournament. Burroughs under second year coach Sean Fullerton comes to Apple Valley October 4th in Mojave River League play. The Desert Sky League defending champions Silverado have Latavian Lipscomb at quarterback. The Hawks are in a coaching transition. Kieran Jones replacing Rafael Gennaro at the Silverado helm. The Hawks open the season here at Newton T. Bass Stadium August 23rd against the Sun Devils. Silverado's junior quarterback tosses the scoring pass to end the Hawks' scrimmage against Burroughs. Granite Hills concludes their passing league scrimmage with the scoring play against the Silver Knights. This is the summer's final passing league tournament hosted by Apple Valley High School. Season openers for all high school teams the third Friday in August. These video sports action highlights and sound bites presented by Valu Quality Truck Bodies. Valu Quality Truck Bodies, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state of the art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Valu Quality Truck Bodies, supporting teams, schools, and athletes throughout the Victor Valley. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Go, Bid fast go, go, and last, world-class auctioneers, family-owned and operated liquidation go, 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 go. experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. Iwan Zak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs. Storm and Norma roars again in KT100. And I won the race. Buck Blair adjusts and takes his first Pro 500 checkered of the season. I'm going to put a better tire on and change my setup a little and I'm going to go in harder this time. How about that? Video Sports reports on Wheel to Wheels, July 20th, Night of Racing. Stevie Simpson, Silver Blue 28, wins the Intermediates Main. Blaine Kuhn, Gold 23, takes the Dirt Carts Open checkered. Riley Tippetts, 14-year-old from Yorba Linda, wins the Restrictor Main. Among Championship Series 8 main event winners, gaining ground on season points leaders. Robbie Simpson, 27, the Intermediates Junior winner. Cash Colt occupying the podium in two classes, a Dirt Carts Junior victory lap again. Buck Blair gives us the lowdown on preferring the top line as we flash back to this video sports interview from the 2018 season. Yeah, you know, uh, to be honest, <laughs> you, if you're running the bottom, the top's faster. If you're running the top, the bottom's faster. Wow. Anyway, that's my luck. So, you know, I don't know. I prefer to run the top even if it's not faster. It's just more fun. So that's where I go. Having fun, a huge part and parcel of Storm and Norma Weatherby's racing at wheel to wheel. How did this 2019 KT100 rookie right, learn of wheel to wheel? I learned about wheel to wheel through mainly Heidi Jo Erickson at we were racing at Paris and then Ronnie wanted me to race there my handler my boyfriend and Doug Bushy wanted me to come up and try it so we did and we raced for the rack and I won the race now what what advice do you have for others who uh, might think about taking this on as a a hobby as uh, a sport absolutely do it it's the best family sport there is I came from quarter midgets like I said I missed my calling I couldn't go any further and I'm here now is there any best advice that you remember having gotten I was told I had to be a 
good sport. And in doing that, it came from my dad, and I know what sportsmanship is all about. Now, how long has it been since you raced as you start again here in 2019? Been a while? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh. I was 16 when I quit. Oh, my goodness. And so this. I'm so it's been a couple of seasons. Uh, yes. Oh, a my very goodness. lot of couple of seasons. Well, it is a delight having you here at Wheel to Wheel. Continued success to you. Thank you for bringing so much to this program, Norman. You're welcome. Racing returns to Wheel to Wheel the first Saturday in August. Midway Home Solutions Action Highlights. This video sports online report presented by Midway Home Solutions. Cool solutions to beating the heat. Huge selection of scratch and dent, refrigerators, freezers, air conditioners at closeout prices. Midway Home Solutions. political leaders to take on these issues, they can't. In one step shy of, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore, mode, Joe Brady addresses the biggest high desert press conference since the closure of George Air Force Base, telling of the launch of an extensive survey aimed at finding solutions to the stagnant economy and deteriorating quality of life suffered by all local communities. Everybody I know here in the high desert has said they feel we're broken, we are broken, but the problem is nobody's willing to take our challenge. Well, I'm not willing to personally take on the challenge of crime myself, but with the help of some people like John O'Haney with Tapestry, which is going to be the nicest master planning community that will break ground in a year from January down in his spirit, 15,663 homes, uh, John has, has agreed to underwrite this survey as has Randall Lewis of Lewis Operating Hosiery agreed to underwrite this um, survey, which Dr. Serrani is going to talk about as soon as I can get off here. That cost us $16,700. The solutions There's come from you who respond to the survey. Is if you ask political leaders to take on these issues, they can't. They can't do it. It is beyond their ability. The governments are too underfunded, and they have too many interests in things like re-election. So if you depend on that to be the source of change, forget it. It's not going to happen. Again, let me repeat that. HighDesertSurvey.com. We're doing final uh, tweaks on the survey and on the landing page. So It'll be available in about two weeks. We need you folks to let everybody know, everyone that you know, go to that page, answer the survey. This online report presented by Brad Co. Companies, the Community Table Restaurant, and the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting every effort to improve the quality of life and standard of living for all residents throughout our high desert communities. Serious legal problem? Don't go all alone. The other guys have attorneys just waiting to blow you away. Contact Iwanzak. Accidental death? Injured on the job? Contact Iwanzak. Business litigation? Vehicle accident? Unlawful detainer? Criminal litigation? Get the proper defense by going on the attack. Iwanzak Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Drive. Bid fast and last, world-class auctioneers, family-owned and operated liquidation experts. Midway Home Solutions in Victorville, providing highest quality home appliances at discount prices for six decades. Valu Quality Truck Body, family owned and operated since 1954. Valu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. Desert High Transportation, reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. High Desert Sports Training, providing proven training concepts. Call to schedule a free evaluation. 
Iwan Zak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. And by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting high desert teams, athletes, and sports programs.